So I'm here with Pete at uh, the Innovation Lab. Well, actually, what's the real name of it? Quality Assurance Lab. <laughs> Quality Assurance Lab at Essential Energy in Port Macquarie. And behind me is a pole battery. So I'm going to flick this around and ask Pete some questions about it. Here we go. Uh, Pete Anderson. I work for Essential Energy, and we're currently looking at one of our pole top batteries. So Pete, who came up with the idea for this? Well, the Pixie brand we're seeing here is European, but the Australian arm of the business actually designed the pole top idea. So it is an Australian, um, an Australian design concept. And we've also got a second battery type called EcoJoule that are also pole top based there out of Brisbane as well. These are separate batteries. So these are your actual cells and um, each of them have their own protection. So they're monitored, they're safe um, and they yeah, work together to give us that overall capacity. Uh, so you can see behind me here is Essential Energy's Quality Assurance Lab. So every new asset that we bring into the business we put through um, significant testing so that we understand how it operates, um, any safety implications around that asset and how we best manage it. And that's exactly what you can see here with these batteries is they're operationally tested, their safety features are tested so that we're confident that what we're putting out there is safe for the public. You're seeing here the bottom of this cabinet is around four, four and a half metres off the ground and they sit on nine through to eleven metre poles. So you have two bolts that come through the, hole, uh, through the pole and it literally sits straight on. Uh, the capacity of this battery is 30 kilowatt, 72 kilowatt hours of storage. This battery is used on low voltage networks so we can put them right down near neighbourhood areas and manage, um, manage power flows close to customers instead of trying to do it from remote areas. It is a cheaper option, yes, and it's um, proving to have a lot of functionality that we can use to um, improve the network without some of those classical solutions that may cost more in the long run. More or less power in numbers, so we can get a lot more in a lot of different areas. So it's pretty noisy. Is If you're putting this in residential areas, could that be a problem for residents? Uh, just give me two seconds and I'll show you the answer. So we, the, the cabinets themselves house the sound quite well, but we've also installed these baffles that you can see on the external side. And that's all about managing that sound impact on customers. So, um, yeah, that's so much quieter. <laughs> yeah. And it's not on all the time either. It's, it's very much temperature dependent. So it'll come on, it'll cool the cabinet down and then turn off. And actually, before we wrap up, Pete, what is this that you've got in your hands here? Uh, what you're seeing here is one of the Pixie Box inverters. So the batteries have nine of these, and it's um, I guess this is the smarts of the operation. Mm -hmm. But um, the beauty of this design is we can have a, one of these fail or two of these fail, and the system keeps operating. So oh wow! Yeah, it, it's a lot of inbuilt redundancy into the system. Oh great! I was told not to drop it, so Pete's holding <laughs> it. Mm -hmm.